Happy New Year to everyone. Um, I hope everyone's really excited about the new year. I hope everyone had a beautiful and lovely Christmas. Um, whether you celebrate it or not, I hope people at least got a break from work. Um, so I'll start with, I'm going to, I tried loads of things this week and I took some stuff home with me. I forgot to take some of the stuff I meant to take home with me. So I've worn quite a mixture this week. It's been, um, it's been a lovely week though. I've had such a lovely time. I got to spend time with my family um, down in the West Country. I'm back in London now, which is always a, I mean, one of the best parts of Christmas is, you know, being able to come home and appreciate your own house again. Um, but uh, so on I was already down at my family's. I went down on the Friday. So then on Christmas Eve, I went for Brocard Colour Feeling. I've just got a little sample of this. I've actually used most of this up now in just the one, in the one day. It's a, it was sort of perfect amount for one day, um, which is what I found with the Colour Feeling Orange that I have as well. So Colour Feeling Red is like a kind of spicy cherry um, scent and... It, well it's got a really the bottle looks like this which is very very cool um so the notes listed on fragrantica are cherry pink pepper carnation vanilla blood orange amber tonka bean and labdomum so it's the pink pepper in here that's making it spicy um but i think the dry down of this is very very similar to the color feeling orange which is the reason i didn't buy a bottle of this as well when i went to bloom um because i did really enjoy this but there's just something about it but if you can see it says cloves here as well so that's why i think this is quite a christmasy smell so the actual brocard notes read as amber blood orange cherry cloves labdomum, and pink pepper tonka beans and vanilla and it is actually a beautiful scent it's really nice if i ever see it for like a decent price on ebay i will certainly snap it up because it is it's kind of like a it's still got quite a lot of that blood orange and the other the the orange one that i like the color feeling orange is is kind of a t orange mango sandalwood and marigold scent and it's really autumnal and pretty um got a slight spice to it this one also has a slight christmas feel to it the cherry is really nice but it's not like only cherry um so i really enjoyed wearing this like i said i don't know that i'd pay 30 pounds for it because th th they don't last very long brocard perfumes but i do really enjoy this if i see it anywhere i will just buy myself a bottle of it um but if I have to go back to Bloom again, it's going to cost me a small fortune because they're, they're way too ex They charge way more than the actual Brocard would charge for these perfumes. You know, fair enough. Um, Christmas Day. Aha. Uh -huh. So, Christmas Day. Now, when I first reviewed this, I hadn't done a full day wear test of it. It was just my first impressions of this. Um when I first talked about it and I got it at the same time that I got cinnamon bun now cinnamon bun is a sugary explosion you know it's like crazy because it's cinnamon bun this one's much more subtle but when you when you wear it properly you do get a bit more because I was saying it's just mainly um like a, a sweet cinnamon like a kitchen cinnamon and it kind of is but I think this time round um I get more of the pumpkin this time. I do get a slight earthy pumpkinness, pumpkininess. That's not a word, but you know what I mean. And I do get a slight sense of a kind of sugary, maybe icing, but not a huge amount. Maybe a sprinkling of kind of icing sugar. And I'm not. I still don't know that it really smells like pastry, but I think it definitely smelt more like an actual baked good this time round than it did when I first smelt it and it pretty much dried down to be just quite sweet and mainly cinnamon but yeah this time I really enjoyed it I think this is actually very nice and I think this is a better bet if you're a bit sensitive to to scents so this was really good to wear around my mum because it's not as in your face it's not as in your face at all as cinnamon bun um, cinnamon bun is a much stronger perfume um, this has notes of pumpkin wheat sugar clove cinnamon and ginger so I got a little bit more of the wheat this time but it's definitely not a pastry smell so I'm very happy about that I got more of the pumpkin I always got sugar and cinnamon um, I'm uh, maybe a bit of clove but I think I don't know that I'd notice the clove over the cinnamon 
and maybe a slight warmth from that ginger but obviously cinnamon and cloves they're all so warm it was just perfect for christmas day i've really enjoyed wearing it um and, and nobody said anything about it really my pet my family don't really comment on people's perfume i would have asked my sister what she was wearing because i recognized it and she won't watch this but i recognized it as a smell that i don't like very much and so i wanted to work out what it was and it was one of the bronze goddess by estee lauder and i don't really like those perfumes um I find them a little, I'm like maybe a bit sickly. I don't know. There's just something in them that I'm not keen on. So, um, but my mum also, she didn't comment that this was too strong. She didn't say, oh yeah, I can smell your wearing perfume, you know, um, which means it was subtle enough, <laughs> but I found it really Christmassy and I really enjoyed it. So far away is the one that I wore on Boxing Day. Um, <clears throat> I hadn't planned to wear Far Away on Boxing Day, to be honest. I had planned to wear um, one that I'll show you later, and I completely forgot to pack it. But I had packed my travel spray, or my like my purse spray, my 10 mil of this. So I wore Far Away, and oh, it's so cosy and delicious. I absolutely love it. Absolutely love this perfume. This one's much more noticeable, I'd say, but again, no one commented that it was too strong or anything, and I didn't go ham with it. I just find it really cosy and sweet and yummy. I love this. This is probably, it's probably my favourite vanilla perfume, and I, I mean, I say that. It's definitely floral, but I think vanilla is the main scent, and it's like a really specific, weird vanilla. Um, this one keeps making me think of Ananya. I think that's how you said it. That I used to have from the body shop. And I've actually ordered a perfume oil that is supposed to smell like Ananya. So I'm really looking forward to smelling that. Because um, I, I used to have this and I had Ananya. And I absolutely loved them both. So I really want to do like a, a sniff test to see. Okay, obviously you can't get Ananya anymore, which is a tragedy. Um, but yeah, so I really liked wearing that. Sorry, that was a tangent about Ananya. But... I've, it's on my mind at the moment. I kept thinking about it. Okay. All right. Oh, yes. So, because I forgot, you know, I was all kind of out of whack. And then on the day after Boxing Day, which was the day um, my dad was uh, dropping me home, because my mum likes to give me loads of really heavy things, which means I can't really come back on the train because I can't carry everything. So, um, my dad dropped me home, gave me a cold in the car, God bless him. <laughs> but I didn't have the Christmassy perfume that I'd planned to take down so I I wore one of the ones I keep at my parents house and it was a very interesting experience actually because again like doing this channel really makes me think so much more deeply about my perfumes oh my gosh so heavenly so this is boom green tea and cherry blossom I have some of this at my work I have some of it at my mum and dad's I often will have like a little uh, miniature in my bag because this used to be my signature scent I've got loads of bottles of this um and I I love it and I used to just wear it all year and that's fine and I still will happily wear it any time of year just whenever it takes my fancy um just to make sure that this is focused um but I wore it when I was at mum and dad's. I put it on. I knew I'd be in the car. So I didn't really want to re-wear anything that would be like super spicy or super sweet or whatever. And this is so inoffensive. It's so, so light and pretty. Um, <laughs> and interestingly, the actual scent profile is very summery. But what I realised is that this is much stronger and lasts much longer in cold weather. So this is a winter freshy if that makes any sense you can i i happily wear this in the summer but it doesn't really last a huge amount of time i've got so much of it and it was so cheap and i've got so many backups i'm not scared to kind of spray it like a maniac but this time round, i i put it on from my bottle there and i could smell it all day without reapplying it i could smell it in the car i could smell it on my clothes i think what part of the trick is to make sure you get it on your clothes you know but it's so heavenly i'm obsessed with this scent um so the top notes are tea lemon and pear middle notes are cherry blossom blackcurrant and rose base notes are peach and musk and you smell all of those things you can really smell that it's a tea perfume you really get the pear and the lemon you definitely get some blackcurrant you the peach i think 
I wouldn't really necessarily have guessed it's peach, but I think if you were looking for it, you can see it's there. And you definitely get that lovely mixture of a cherry blossom with maybe a bit, yeah, definitely actually, with a very fresh pink rose. And I always thought of it as being mainly cherry blossom, but actually, definitely you get quite a lot of rose. The musk, I think, is what works better in the winter. And I think that's probably what made it cling onto my skin a bit more. But oh my God, I loved wearing this so much. It was so delicious. Uh, I mean, it's the reason it was my signature scent for a while, because I absolutely just love this perfume. Green tea, cherry blossom from the Jeanne Arthez Boom range. It's discontinued, but if you can find it anywhere, it's so absolutely heavenly i love it um if you're a kind of elizabeth arden green tea fan then you'll probably love this if you also like fruity perfumes because it is very very fruity um but if you can't get hold of this then quite a good alternative is the actual green tea pomegranate from her range um because it has it's not exactly the same notes it's a bit sharper um a bit more kind of fizzy you know a bit more zesty and tangy but it's very very similar to this one um so i, I that's a good perfume as well so then i was home and i've been kind of testing things or just wearing random things and then i just i was just in a mood to just go madly sweet so i went for um bonbons uh milk cake this is by malaysia um you can still get these on eBay. I think you can get them on makeup.uk. Uh, did that where I got it? No, I think I got these from eBay in the end. Um, so I the reason I was testing this is, uh, you will see, for Christmas, um, I got a set from my husband. I did request them, to be fair. Um, not from my husband. Oh, my goodness. Sorry to diss my sister. No, I requested them from my sister um, of some milk perfumes they're all kind of later this later that later I, and i've already forgotten the name of the people who make them i will do a review of those at some point so i've been i've kind of been just sniffing those and i it just made me want to wear this one because pretty much same thing to be honest um obviously a little bit cheap smelling because it is cheap but in a really nice way so um, they don't have this one for Grantica. They've got their milkshake, which I never managed to get my hands on annoyingly. But they, they don't have milk cake on yet. So if I look at, this is the makeup.uk site. And they only list, they list top note milk, heart note vanilla, base note sugar. That's pretty much it, to be honest. It does actually have a picture of a cake that seems to have some kind of chocolate base. And I do think... There's a very slight kind of slightly caramelly, chocolatey, cooked milk smell. That's what it is. It smells like cooked milk, sugar, and maybe just a hint of something chocolatey. Like a little chop. Yeah, maybe a, just a tiny bit of a very sweet chocolate cake or something. Because this is the one that really reminds me quite a lot of... In a more, It's a more perfumey version of my chocolate musk from Al Nuaim. Um... But yeah, so I just wanted a spray. So I went for that one. It's super nice and it's super cheap and it's just really fun. Um, okay, now we're moving on. Let me just see about this a second. So there's some stuff I tested. So I tested La Rive In Woman Red. This is supposed to be a dupe of Armani C... Is it Armani C Intense? Oh, I should have checked that before I looked it up. Um, I think it's the, it's the Armani C that comes in a red bottle. That's what this is supposed to be. I just think this is... I mean, firstly, I'm going to say I just don't... I think maybe this isn't the greatest dupe of that particular perfume. I really like La Rive and I, I think they do really good dupes. And most of the ones I've got, all the ones I've smelt, they do smell like what they're supposed to smell like. I have a feeling this one is a bit wimpy. I, I think it's like, I think it's not very rich. I think it's not very deep. Um, I think this one smells a bit cheap, actually. And they are cheap, but they don't normally smell cheap to me. I think they smell really good. This one, I'm not sure it's the best copy at all of that particular perfume. And I'm not keen on it. And I didn't really, I like it much better on card than I do on my skin. So again, it might just be one that doesn't work on my skin. I think my skin pulls out the jasmine as it likes to. And anyone who watches me knows I don't really like jasmine. So it's a bit of a problem. Um, so the notes in In Woman Red 
our top notes of pear, blackcurrant and pink pepper, middle notes of heliotrope, rose and jasmine, base notes of vanilla, amber and cedar. So yeah, I just, I, I'm not keen on this one. It's not going to stay with me. I'll, I'll put it, I'll have to, oh, I've got so many Larive things to um, review. So at some point I'm just going to do a kind of Larive perfumes that are staying and a Larive perfumes that are going. I'll do a couple of um, big kind of Larive hauls and then I'll just, I'll just sell them as a bundle, you know, the ones that I don't want. So let's have a little look. Mm. A Thursday. We had a friend over um, and I was just in a mood to be sweet and fruity and syrupy and so I wore, oh gosh, the colour of this is just so, so glorious. Absolutely love it. I'm going to move that. Oh, look at that. So lush. I, d I honestly think it's the best thing, you know, about... Um, this particular perfume i think if i i wonder if i didn't love the bottle so much the color of the bottle whether i'd be as interested in this as i am because it is very shampooy i can't overspray this one it would make me sick i have to go quite light with it what i tend to do is spray it on my wrists and then dab those onto my neck i don't really necessarily spray this on directly on my neck um we were having a friend over for drinks and um, I think I was, well, I can't remember what I was wearing, but I feel sure it would have had this kind of cool blue colour. Oh, yes, I do. I had a cute dress, a little wrap dress, had multicoloured hearts on it. And some of the hearts are this kind of beautiful, kind of bright blue. Um, yeah, I was just in the mood. I went for something fruity. It's totally yummy. Um, lasts for ages and is very strong. I mean, I would say, unless you're actually going out... I wouldn't overspray this one. I would say you'd only want to overspray this if you are um, uh, like going to a club or something, you know? It's just, it's so strong. Um, okay, I'm just gonna turn these around as well before I give you the notes. Let's move these up because I've got a bit of a big boy coming up. Oh, every time I look at my screen, I'm like, God, that's so beautiful, that color. Mm. Okay, so the notes in this are plum, sour cherry and raspberry, middle notes of orchid, iris and freesia, base notes of vanilla, amber and musk. But this is the one that I think, when I first spray it, I'm like, mmm, that's delicious. It smells like a blueberry muffin. It smells like a blueberry muffin with a crust of, like, um, granulated sugar on the top. It's very sweet. And then, after a while, when it starts to dry down, it starts to smell more and more shampooy. So that's why I can't spray this too much of this near my neck because it makes me feel like I've not washed my shampoo out properly because I don't really like shampooy scents but the actual general scent of this I really like and it's as close as I've ever got to something that actually smells like blueberries even though there aren't, there aren't any blueberries in this um I'm not sure why but I really think it just smells like blueberries and I think generally that that is what people think now this next one is new and um I was just really surprised by this. I've had this in my wishes for ages and for some reason um, when I put it in I'm not sure there were quite as many comparisons and I didn't really think to look. I just saw it for twelve ninety nine, and I thought I'm going to buy that. This is Pascal Morabito and this is called Aima. Aima? Um, you can't really see it. There we go. So that's Aima. Um, I'm not really sure what that translates to, but feel free to tell me because I'm sure there's lots of people who do actually know. <laughs> so, Ama, the notes for this one, and the reason I've had it in my wish list for so long, <laughs> is because it's a Dulce de Leche perfume. And again, if you've been watching me, you know I keep trying Dulce de Leche perfumes and nearly always they don't work for me or there's something in them that just makes me sick. Um... Wanted Girl, for instance, the patchouli in that is insane. I think the sharp notes in it are way too sharp for how sweet the Dolce de Leche is in the base. I don't like that, and I don't like things that are kind of Dolce de Leche -y, but have that kind of Poison Girl vibe. That again is a bit of a clash between a caramelly sweetness and a sharp fruitiness, like a bitterness. Um, I wish I could wear Britney Spears' private show but that one just fully turns into plastic on my skin and smells horrible so that one just doesn't work on me so I've been trying lots and I saw this and I thought the notes looked really nice so the notes here top notes raspberry ginger flower and tangerine middle notes rose neroli and gardenia base notes dolce de leche sandalwood and benzoin 
this perfume is lovely, but it smells like um, my La Reef perfume called My Only Wish. And that is a dupe of um, Cacherelle's Yes I Am. So this smells like Cacherelle's Yes I Am. So I would say it's definitely not as strong. I had to really overspray this and I had to spray it all over my clothes to get it to last. Although to be fair, like I said, my dad gave me a cold. So maybe my nose is just a little bit funny today. Uh, I mean, or well, yesterday when I was wearing it. I'm filming this on Saturday. Um, but it's lovely. And I think I think the Dolce de Leche and the raspberry are the main things here. So I think that it doesn't know any spices, but it definitely is spicy. It definitely has that same cardamony plasticiness that you get from Cacherelle's Yes I Am, the original one. But it has a really, really nice sort of caramel that comes in quite quickly. Now my La Reve, My Only Wish, I love that. Um, it's way stronger in the fruits, like the berries. It's really, really syrupy raspberry when you first spray it. And um, it's slightly less caramelly. But when I tried the, I actually tried them next to each other on, on the arm because I was like, oh, this is just totally, that, this is a casserole. Yes, I am. Um, at first, definitely, this one's more dolce de leche like, and it's a creamy one. It's not sharp or like bitter. It doesn't smell burnt. It's very much like it is in Yes, I Am. Um, but that, it, it's kind of raspberry, dolce de leche. And then my only wish when I spray it, it's very ra sweet raspberry syrup. And then you get the spices and then the caramel comes in later. Um, but when, they, when they're both in their proper, proper dry downs, they smell very, very similar and they both smell like, yes, I am. So now I'm like, oh, damn it. Because I also have another thing that smells a bit like, yes, I am, which which is um, the Avon Far Away Rebel, but that one smells like a kind of purple berry version and it's not as, it doesn't have the same cardamininess, but it does still have that similar profile. So I now have three perfumes with a very similar profile, but I really like all three of them and I don't particularly want to get rid of any of them. So I'm not entirely sure what I'm going to do. I don't entirely know if I'm going to keep this guy or if I'm going to get rid of it or if I'm going to get rid of my La Reve one um, and keep this one I don't know I mean to be honest I much prefer the La Reve bottle but in a weird way this one does feel a bit more pink and girly and the La Reve one because of that really mega syrupy berry does suit that kind of dark bottle with the red lid um, and then of course yes I am is stronger much stronger, much longer lasting. But I think because of that, maybe slightly more cloying. I don't know. I mean, the La Reve one's the cheapest. This one was only twelve ninety nine, but I think this one's discontinued. But if you see it anywhere, um, just know this is very much like, yes, I am. Very much like, yes, I am. But I really enjoyed wearing it. Um, so yeah, I don't, oh, maybe I'm just going to keep them both. Maybe I'm just going to keep them both. I don't know. Uh, <laughs> so that was Thursday... And then on Friday, okay, on Friday, um, I tried two different things. So in the day, let's have a look. I'm just going to move this big boy over here. Try not to knock him off. I'm going to put this one here, move this here. Start making a bit of space in a more central position. Okay. So this is a oil perfumery dupe of Killian's Angel Share. And this is by Amore Scents. Not sure if you can actually see much here um, because there's so much writing on the back. But it's Amore, Amore Scents. I'll, I'll list it down below anyway so you can see it. Angel Share. So... <clears throat> I just decided because I was I was looking for what was I oh oh I was looking for Tom Ford's black cherry dupes right uh, lost cherry even because I want a black cherry perfume and this just came up um, this company a more sense came up and they had a 
a, a special deal. I can't remember how much it was. It might have been about 25 quid, which is a bargain. These are 10 mil of oil perfumes and you can get three of them and you can choose which ones you want um, for I think it's £25. So I haven't actually smelt the real Angel Share. I haven't done a review of it yet but I do actually have a little decant that I bought on eBay for a ridiculous amount of money actually. I was annoyed but it's the only way I could get hold of it to try it of the um, the Latafa one that's supposed to be a dupe of this but sounds to me like it doesn't actually smell like angel share um this one i think is lovely i'm not sure if it smells like angel share the reason i'm saying that is i don't think it smells boozy um and it's quite light it's very pretty i this actually smells so nice on my husband because i because it's supposed to be like unisex so i got him to put a little bit on and he smelled absolutely scrumptious in this um i will do a proper review of the three that i got because i got this the tom ford lost cherry dupe and the love don't be shy dupe um but this is the one that i decided to wear weirdly i found this one the first time I tried this, it must be because I'd been wearing like such sweet and girly perfumes. But when I tried this one the first time, I was like, oh, it's super unisex, really nice. This time I just felt it was slightly unisex and leaning to a bit masculine, even though it's so sweet. I'm not sure. I think it must be. I think it's oak. Um, so, so this is their website. You can get like a, a bigger one for £10 uh inspired by and the notes here it says opening with cognac oil uh upon a blend of oak absolute cinnamon essence and tonka bean absolute this sense long lasting notes of sandalwood praline and vanilla make it for a delicious finish only angels should experience so yeah i mean i kind of get a little bit of a vibe for all of that it's quite praline quite tonk it's very tonkery actually um a little bit of vanilla but it's a vanilla that i like it's ever so slightly edible while also clearly not being edible because there's quite a lot of oak in it but the cognac oil i think it's rich it's quite light it lasted i reckon this lasts for about like six or more hours but it's not very strong it hasn't got much projection I'm just trying not to get it everywhere. Yeah, it's really not very strong, this, at all. And they do say that the oils are stronger and more long-lasting, although they say everyone finds it different, but probably if you want a strong one, you should get the oils. But it's not strong. It's really not strong. It's a very easy to wear, and I would actually describe this as a skin scent, this particular oil. Um, and for, actually, they're all skin scents. You, when I sit next, to, when I was sitting next to my partner, and he he had tried these on, I could smell them on him, but I couldn't smell him when he was just like you know in the room. I could just smell it when he sat next to me, and I was like, oh, that smells lovely. Um, so I'd say they're quite skin scenty. This one, like I said, it just doesn't. It does not smell boozy at all to me. So. Um, yeah, I, I like it though. I think it's beautiful. Don't get me wrong. And what I'll probably do is I'll just put some of this into like a rollerball because I think it's actually very pretty and I would absolutely wear this again. But maybe I won't wear it again when I've been wearing like incredibly like girly, sweet and fruity or like ridiculously sweet perfumes. I'll give it a chance at another time. And actually, I wonder if it's because it's an oil, it might just be better in, in warmer weather, you know. And then the one that I forgot to blooming well take with me. <laughs> this is Spiced Apple from Aurora Perfumes. This is the one I got on Etsy. And I mean, yeah, it's lovely. It made me feel like a spiced apple candle. Um, but it, it's still lovely. And I don't really mind smelling like a spiced apple candle, to be honest. That's fine by me. Um, I can absolutely live with smelling like a spiced apple candle. Um, but I know a lot of other people really would not like that. I know a lot of people don't like to smell like a candle. And other people are like, cool, I'll happily smell like a candle. I think the problem with anything that's spiced apple unless you put in like the literal pastry smell which i obviously don't like or you put in like a ton of vanilla which probably would have made this way too sickly for me um 
it's always going to smell a bit like a Yankee candle, you know, like apple and cinnamon, because that's just such a kind of holiday candle and holiday air freshener. You know, it's such, such a classic kind of scent for home fragrance that I think it's going to be really hard to ever have like quite a pure apple and cinnamon scent that doesn't smell a little bit like a candle. Um, uh, you know, uh, uh, other things are because I had I do have um, Eve by Yope. But the thing is with that, because there's so much vanilla in it, it can get really sickly. That one smells like a candle as well, though, because it's got apple and cinnamon. So, you know, it, it's it's kind of tricky, but I did enjoy wearing it. But um, I only wore it for half a day, which is exactly right. I wore I wore this one throughout the day and then like I wore, I put this one on in the evening and. Um, so I just was kind of a bit Christmassy smelling in the evening and it's not I mean it's relatively long lasting but quite subtle when it dries down this one's not as strong as the candy cane one but it's still super super fun um, so this is a captivating blend of crisp autumn apple and freshly ground cinnamon sticks with a whisper of seasonal clove and smooth vanilla but for me it's almost entirely the smell of like it says autumn apple I'd say it smells like a lovely red apple with lots of cinnamon and it's got some sweetness in it I don't know if I'd necessarily have noticed the clove and I wouldn't have realized that the sweetness was coming from vanilla which is good for me um so I enjoyed wearing it I think it's really nice so again that's um spiced apple by Aurora perfumes prop that up over there and then I'm just going to mention this one real quick because I um forgot to say in my last video that I did actually try another one because I went to what where did I go I can't remember I had to go to my local mall and um pick something up that I'd ordered from Superdrug so I just nipped into um body shop and I thought oh I'm just gonna sniff some of their perfumes while I'm loitering around and the one I wanted to smell was Shay or she she Shay I think you pronounce it Shay um from the body shop which is obviously it's like shea butter so it'll come as no surprise to anyone to know that this is like super body cream like it's really got a body cream vibe to it it also really reminds me of the dry down but without the kind of coffee of noah so it has that and it has the same kind of vibe as jill sanders softly and um a little bit of kind of Carolina Herrera 212 which also smells like a bar soap to me you could also say it's kind of body lotiony um the very deep dry down of Burberry Brit rhythm so it's that it's that kind of thing again you know it's that kind of it smells a bit like a body lotion and makes sense right because it's shea uh, um and it doesn't give you any notes from the body shop for this and it doesn't last very long it's quite noticeable I think when you spray it on you'd probably have to go ham with it but um yeah it didn't I don't think it lasted particularly long not on me anyway but I did enjoy it I thought it was really pretty but I don't need it because I you know I just wear Noah I just really like Noah um and Noah is much more complex but if you want a really simplified kind of version of Noah or possibly if you really love Noah but it's a bit much for you in hot weather because I do, I don't, I can't wear Noah in um, in hot weather because it's actually very musky and strong. Um, but it does have that kind of beautiful bar soapy body lotion yumminess to it. But there's like a hint of coffee. It's really creamy. Um, this is really creamy. Smells like body lotion. It's really a your skin but better kind of smell. If you don't like perfumes that smell like lotions, then avoid it at all cost. Um, but if you like that kind of bar soapy, kind of creamy body care smell, um, Shea is like, it's a really good option because it's not expensive. It's really easy to find. Um, they've had it for a really long time, so it doesn't look like they're going to discontinue at any point. But it's definitely got that kind of Casherelle Noah vibe to it. But it's just, it's cheaper, you know, cheaper. It doesn't last as long. It's not as strong, but it's, it's, it's a really nice one. I, I thought it was lovely. Um, it's, it's my kind of perfume, to be honest. But again, I just don't need it because I've got so many others like it. Um, so yeah, so this was my um, Christmas and random bit in between Christmas and New Year, a bunch of perfumes. So I will um, see you on the other side in 2023. Now, 
hopefully um you'll have seen a little video go up uh on saturday so uh, new year's eve i've got one lined up to uh premiere or however you say it and then this one should be on sunday like normal and then i'm gonna just because you know it's bank holiday and then we've all got to go back to work and ugh. so i've i'm gonna i've still got a few lined up and then i'll go back to normal and the videos will be on wednesdays fridays and then my um than this one on a Sunday so I'll be back to normal business soon but I just thought you know over Christmas people have a bit of time off a bit of downtime I thought it'd be fun to just really go ham with all the crazy videos but anyway happy new year to everyone I hope that you are starting the new year in style or you know possibly with your head down a toilet depending on what you got up to yesterday I'm going to be t um well it's tomorrow you'll be watching this and I can say today because it will be new year's day when this comes out I am going to be having a very lovely quiet day to recover from some sambuca and to watch you know the Taskmaster New Year's special and probably some really cheesy films um, and eat leftover spaghetti bolognese so I'm going to be having an absolutely perfect day frankly because <laughs> um, you know that's just how I roll but uh, yeah again happy new year thank you so much to everyone who's been watching thank you so much to everyone who comments on my videos i love seeing your comments i love reading your recommendations i've literally just bought a perfume that someone recommended to me and i'm really excited to talk to you guys about it so yeah i i just i've had so much doing these this year i can't this year i can't thank you enough i really this is such a really fun hobby. It's an expensive hobby. I'm going to have to be more chilled out next year, to be honest, because I need to start saving. But really fun hobby. Thank you for all the support. Thank you to the people who come back every week and see what I'm up to. Thank you to people who comment all the time on all my videos. Um, yeah, I just, you guys are awesome. Um, and this is really fun. So I'll see you in 2023.